first, and a bus. first videos, they should suck. Pretty much. Hopefully not too much, but... Yeah. Hopefully not. But we're just two people, just like everybody else out there, who uh, want to make something beautiful out of um, a school bus. And we're totally into pets, too. Yeah. Like, totally. Yeah. Busconsult.com and petconsult.com. Right. Anyways, yeah, we thought we'd do this while we're still really young. Yeah, and then the when we're really, really old, then we might just move into an apartment, <laughs> or maybe we'll move into a bus full time. Well, I was thinking about the bus. Well, I, I was excited about the bus because I saw it as an opportunity to be able to go places and still work. Because, well, I wouldn't want to describe myself exactly as a workaholic, but um, we have a massive amount of work. So the fact that yeah. I work, work, work is probably in our favor. I'm used to long hours of work. But, yeah, I mean, um, we think about that all the time, too, that, yeah. you know, we work full-time in our own little areas, and um, we do have to take a break from um, those areas. And we actually have to learn how to have a down day because yeah. we're not doing too good at that. Well, and we've had a lot going on in our world besides just what we just told you, all those things. Yeah. Um, Plus, we like doing things together. Like, we yeah. built our deck together, or we yeah. built it. Um, we finished our basement together. Yeah. Built some planters outside together. We did. Yeah, we, we've kind of established that we work well together. So Yeah. This is definitely a project we can both work on. Yeah, so life just keeps throwing us a few little curveballs. So. Yeah. Uh, like our... Uh, our air conditioner went, yep. our fridge went, then the new fridge went, yep. <laughs> and then our washer went, and then our mom passed away, so that sucked. So we've been like, we keep taking these these hits, but um, we're out here now, and we're going to make it good. And mama would be proud once we're done. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't figured out what we're going to call our bus, but maybe you guys have some ideas. <laughs> yeah, well, they probably need to know a little bit about us first. No, come yeah. on. We'll come up with something. Something interesting, I'm sure, or catchy, or I don't know. Well, what do you like to be called? Mike? I like to be called Mike. <laughs> that is his name sometimes. sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or, <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, yeah. So, I'm Sue. You're Richard or, or Mike. <laughs> no, you can't have two names. You can definitely have one because well, people will be like, "I don't know what to call you. Is it Richard or Mike?" You say, "Well, both." Yeah. <laughs> then we go, Richard, Mike. Well, I'm pretty, Mike, sure, I'm pretty sure because we don't have really a clue other than YouTube videos of what we're doing. Um, there, there's going to be a lot of confusion anyways. It's going to be, why the hell are they doing that? And you just have to roll with us. Or yeah. if you already have done things, we love feedback. Yeah. Positive feedback. Yep. The the grumpy feedback, me. Yeah, we, we've got some, uh, I don't know, I know there's some channels that I've followed that, or been following that, you know, I'm uh, quite fond of, uh, especially the, the characters, um, you know, they've done good, good work or they're amazing characters. Um, a couple that really stick out in my mind are, uh, Adventure Trudge. Um, mm -hmm. they're a really cool couple. They're just so fun and, uh, they know, you know, nothing about this, um, you know, same boat as us and they've just forged ahead and you know it, it looks like they're doing a wonderful job on everything and uh, you know if nothing else I've l learned how to make pocket holes uh, <laughs> <laughs> they, they use a lot of pocket holes to connect things <laughs> oh really and, uh, yeah and it looks good like it really looks good I've never thought of using those uh, you know I do angle brackets and uh, I have no idea what he's talking about but. <laughs> yeah so when you screw up make a hole on the side oh yeah side the okay and, yeah. it's a cool little device that you uh, yeah they got a j jig for yeah that. it's a yeah. jig and, and you can get your screws going in sideways so that they 
get yeah. anchored properly. Yeah. It is kind of cool. We'll probably have to get one of those. Yeah. And they, uh, yeah. And, 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 you know, humor and just nice people. Super nice people. With real stuff happening. Yeah. Yeah. And, and another couple is uh, FNA Van Life. Uh, it's Frankie and Alex. And they live in a van. It's like, how cool is that? You know, lots of people do, but, you know, they do it well. They have fun. Uh, they're entertaining. And, you know, like, wow, uh, Frankie, he's, he's a good sport. Does <laughs> you know, <I>, she <laughs> chew him up and spit him out? <laughs> oh, she, she's awesome. I watched her do uh, this uh, uh, skit on uh, quarantine cuts, and uh, she shows uh, puts his hair into a few different styles. He's got pretty long hair. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's it's just priceless watching the, watching the content they create. Um, so, yeah, it's, yeah, there's there's others like that too that are, uh, you know, they could go on and on, but it, it's fun and watching. So, um, cheers to our new adventure. <laughs> yeah. Another new adventure. Yeah. You know, I hardly ever see anybody drinking in their videos. <laughs> I don't know why it is. I, I don't. I think there's a rule that you can't have uh, alcohol in, oh, in your videos. In maybe? your videos, oh, yeah. Maybe. Or you can't drink live online or something. Oh. I don't really know. That might be just something I just made up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so excited. Um, waiting for it to cool down a little bit. Yeah, it's not going to cool down for a couple weeks. We had a... Uh, Actually, I feel the nice little breeze right now. Do you? I don't feel anything. Oh, it's probably just because I'm sweating so much. <laughs> so we had to actually shop a lot to find the perfect bus where my husband's height was doable yeah, for the renovation. At, at six feet, I, I, I figured that that had, that had to be realistic to be able to find one where, you know, the height wasn't going to be a problem. Because you can't prejudice against six foot bus drivers. <laughs> but it's funny how many buses we looked at or read about or researched and they, he would have been like hitting the ceiling. Um, as soon as you touch the floor and do a subfloor and do something with the ceiling and yeah, then you're, um, then you've lost your room. So yeah, yeah he so, definitely would have run into it. It would have been kind of funny to, to, it was funny. Watch him hit his head all the time. My first experience of being in a bus as, an, I think, as an adult potentially, was uh, I, you know, in advance of this, I went and took an air brakes uh, course, and um, they have a bus. Emma builds Burby. Um, yeah, so it, they had a bus that we had to get on there, started up, and do the air brakes test and stuff like oh, that. Oh, and it was only. Well, I get up there and I realize, oh my God, I'm hitting my head on this thing. <laughs> so, ever since then, it's uh, it's been weird because I've been ducking in the in, in any bus that I've been in. Not that I've been in many buses, but just need some headgear, eh? Yeah, and even in here though, I I, I was ducking. ducking? <laughs> so that probably didn't help me realize that you know at six feet, you know, I come in here and I'm looking out the windows and realize. I can't see nothing. <laughs> like, That's seriously, funny. that sucks. It's totally funny. Well, that it won't be like that. We'll have couches and desks and yeah, I, a bed. Yeah, and, sitting it looks great. Like, yeah, yeah, I, I mean, see everything. Yeah, most people cover up a lot of their window space, anyways. Yeah, I was thinking about that too, and I, I don't know about that because it's like suddenly it's going to feel dark in here and like I love this visibility isn't this wonderful you can look around yeah. and you can see your whole neighborhood yeah I do like that um workable windows is important yeah so with screens with screens so yeah we'll have to figure something out there. yeah so anyways um stick with us yeah. I don't know what we do from this point, but now we got to do plans. Yeah, I don't know. I th it, we probably got to take one of those videos where it says, uh, oh, please like and subscribe and hit that bell button so you get notified whenever we post a video. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you. It's going to be every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It's going to be when we can. Uh, we're not 
uh, well, I wouldn't say we're not organized, but we are pretty well organized, but uh, we're flexible. So our direction and priorities can change on a moment's notice. And that's one of the things we love about the situation we're in is we choose our own priorities and we can pivot in a moment, you know, a quick discussion. Um, we don't need to assemble a board meeting or anything like that. It's just, you know. We are the board. <laughs> yeah. We have a quick chat and we're both, you know, we're traveling on the same path. So, you know, how we get there, there's lots of ways to get there. But we, uh, we can pick a direction really, really quick. Yeah. And with that being said, there's a wasp in here and I don't do wasps. That's okay. It's not going to touch us. It's going to be fascinated with the walls and everything. <laughs> the little holes will be like, hey, I've got a new nest area. No. Yeah. No, no. And then it'll have a problem getting out to notify all the other wasps. Oh, parts. gosh. Ah, there's a bee. Um, our neighbors, we have a mixed, mixed view on what our neighbors think about this big orange bus in the neighborhood. Yeah, to, um, to our face, they're excited. Yeah, to our face, they're super excited. Yeah. Behind our backs, um, maybe not so much, but we have like people that go for walks all the time and they're always looking in the back windows to see what more we've done. And we haven't done anything, so we're excited about keeping them happy too. Well, I had those things hanging down like the... Oh yeah, right. You know, and then now I put them back up, so they'll look in the back of the bus and be, oh look, They've done something, no, we haven't. Don't know what, but... <laughs> Something's different. There's a little girl that go, goes yeah. walking with her dad and her dad's dad. Um, and uh, she always wants to look in here because there's a cartoon about buses. And she wants to see if there's anything new in here, too. So, yeah, we'll do it for her, too. <laughs> Anyways, cheers. See you later. <laughs>